What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Battle Pass review video here for Season 5 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. This Battle Pass is looking fantastic just from a first glance. Haven't even played that much, haven't even gone through the full thing yet, so I'm excited to get down to it. We got some nice skins going at E13. I can see an Alex skin and, you know, it comes with the Black Cell version. We have Price over here at E9. Ghost is up at E17 with a very nice looking skin. We have some uh, Rose and Valeria. And we even get Velikin from Building 21. This is one I'm really looking forward to getting, especially the Black Cell version of it. Here is the base skin. It is a, an exact copy, to my knowledge, of his Building 21 skin. Now, from what we can see here on the Battle Pass and the event that happens in two days, you can see from the two sectors that are bordering E1, one of them is for Task Force 141, and the other one is for Shadow Company. And the Battle Pass gives off a very red team, blue team vibe with all of the Task Force 141 rewards being to the left. And all of the Shadow Company themed rewards being to the right. All those themed operators. Like in the middle here, we also have Mila, who's a new operator for our Shadow Company. And, you know, we have the Knight, which is a Alejandro skin. Some standout rewards that a lot of people thought were very cool looking, very nice looking. We have a lot of good blueprints, some red and blue, very standout blueprints. We have this Tepper Razorback or Tempest Razorback Assault Rifle. We have this uh, shotgun right here for the Bryson 890. The shotgun's got buffed recently in Season 4 Reloaded. So even though the display isn't loading for some reason, this shotgun is nice to see for a very good looking blueprint. We have the blue uh, Fennec 45 right here that looks very clean. We have, I saw a sniper right here. The... MCPR 300, a very nice, it's got Shadow Company logos, it's got a, a ghost skull on it, it looks very good in this metallic blue. Over at E11, we have this very Techno-esque orange, kind of gives Cold War vibes, I'm not going to lie, for this 556 Icarus. Um, it looks really good with this digital skull on the back and all this kind of digital there's one on the front even of the mag that looks really clean straight up the middle in e3 we have this cool uh p890s blueprint the p890s are very strong pistols very underrated since all of these new dlc pistols come out i'm excited to take these into some search and destroy games to dmz anywhere where you can get into a nice mid to close range these things will destroy over here on E5, we have the Syken MG38, this endless barrage blueprint. Um, for some reason, it's super zoomed in, but you can see it's got a nice coppery kind of undertone here with, you know, some orange accents, very nice shiny silver. It looks very good. A lot of the decals look phenomenal. It has a lot of these chess piece themed weapon charms. Here is a knight. If we look around, we'll be able to find uh, some other themed ones. Up here by the ghost skin, you have the Rook. Over here at E8, you have the Queen Valeria. If you've noticed, all these chess pieces are a chess piece version of the operator they go with. We have the King Price. And we have a Bishop Rose to round out the chess pieces. I didn't see a pawn at first glance, but, you know, I could just be blind as a bat. Our Black Cell sector is very nice. It's got some fantastic rewards with a talking gun screen. This is a like a AI talking gun screen that will, you know, give you comms in-game versus the announcer's comms. You get the Arthur uh, Black Cell skin here. It is... Very cyber, very techno. You get the uh, TAC-56 blueprint. TAC-56 is always a banger. Very good and ranked. Comes with COD points, of course. And you get the Bark and Bite finishing move. That is the canine companion known as um, Merlin. Now, companion finishing moves in this game, they're a little bit different than previously. In the loading screen, you will still see the companion next to you, just like you would in 2019 or in Warzone 1.0. But now, 
when you are in game, that companion will be carried by you. So when you load in as Arthur and you're using the bark and bite finishing move, you will have Merlin sitting right here on your back, ready to go into combat. Now here's the part of the video where I tell you the fastest way to unlock the new weapons in this battle pass. Now, if you are completely free on this battle pass, if, or if you're not buying Black Cell, you gotta start all the way at the bottom at E1. From E1, you wanna go to E2, E3, then you branch off and hit E5, E7 for the new sniper, E6, and then E8 for the new AR. If you do buy the Black Pass, you can go straight to E19 and E20 to get their blueprints that come for the Black Cell versions. Or if you want to make sure you get that base weapon unlock, you can go down to E4 and pick up that nice vehicle skin and then go back to E5 and E6, E7 and E8. Multiple different ways you can go for these weapons. I'm having a lot of fun with the sniper. I'm getting a few unlucky hit markers, but I'm actually getting a lot of real lucky no scopes. I've attempted about four, hit marker two of them, headshot two of them, I haven't missed. About a 15 meter hip fire. It's got pretty good accuracy in my opinion. Maybe I'm just really lucky. The FFAR or the FR, whatever they're calling it in this game, the FR, oh, I can't read. The FR Advancer, it's right there. I was looking up here like it was a blueprint. So the FR Advancer feels a little bit weaker than the FFAR we're used to back in Cold War. I'm hoping I can find that nice sweet spot build to boost it up before I go for the gold and platinum videos. Stay tuned for that. Of course, like I said, we got the Task Force 141 and the Shadow Companies that they have their challenges unlock in two days for the new event, which will probably come with a camo, maybe two camos. I saw there was a little sneak peek in the menu. I'm not sure if you can still see them anymore. And then we have that classified slot that will come at the mid-season update that will probably have our third weapon of the season in it. And I'm excited to see what it is. If you thought this video was helpful and you enjoyed what you saw, I'll drop a like down below. And let me know, are you copping the Black Cell Battle Pass this season? I think it's phenomenal. I think the rewards in it are way better than they were for Seasons 3 and 4. And it most definitely is worth it, considering most of the stuff that comes in it, people would buy in 2400 COD Point bundles anyways. Our official clan sharpshooters is on the screen. Feel free to join up, and all the usual links are down in the description. With that being said, enjoy Season 5, and I'll see you next time.